Item Number SCP-3232 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-3232 is to be kept in an isolated reinforced glass cell for observation, located at site. The seams of the cell are to be sealed with industrial resin coated in liquid adhesive. Resin and adhesive will be replaced bi-weekly due to SCP-3232's environmentally destructive behavior. Any containment breaches of instances of SCP-3232-1 will be dealt with using common household insecticides depending on species. Due to the nature of this object, pillows of any kind are disallowed within 50 meters of the testing area. Description SCP-3232 is an old cotton pillow, estimated to be 15 to 20 years old, perpetually covered in arthropods of various species, henceforth collectively known as SCP-3232-1. SCP-3232-1 appears to originate from inside the pillow, exiting the casing through small holes in the seams. All attempts to examine the interior of the pillow casing have been met with failure. The cloth seems to be resistant to further tear or damage, and attempting to insert a camera or any other probing device will result in hitting an unidentifiable barrier, halting further exploration. Species found on the surface of SCP-3232 vary greatly, most being species commonly perceived as household pests. Exotic, rare, or even species thought to have been extinct have also been observed. SCP-3232 currently has no observable limit to the volume of arthropods it can produce. Individuals within a 2 to 5 meter distance from SCP-3232 who are experiencing moderate fatigue will not perceive the arthropods on the pillow, and will rest their head on the pillow without hesitation. Once the subject's head makes contact with SCP-3232, they will fall asleep within 1 to 5 minutes, and SCP-3232-1 will begin to crawl into every orifice on the subject's body. The subject appears to show no discomfort during this time, and appears to be sleeping peacefully. During the 6-12 to 12 hours of sleep, SCP-3232-1 will mate and reproduce inside the subject's body. The young will mature at an anomalous rate, and become fully matured adults within the allotted time. Eventually, they will exit the subject, and collectively gather to reoccupy the pillow. The surface population does not appear to change, as the surplus of arthropods enters the pillowcase. Subjects who undergo this process suffer no adverse effects, and are physically unaffected by SCP-3232-1. When foreign arthropods are introduced to the pillow, a seemingly random percentage become assimilated into the swarm, while others are violently torn apart by other arthropods, who drag the pieces back into the pillow. Criteria for assimilation is currently unknown. When separated from the pillow, the arthropods exhibit no anomalous properties, and are indistinguishable from their respective species, though they will persistently attempt to return to the pillow, ignoring all self-preservation instincts. Addendum 01 SCP-3232 has demonstrated to have limited control over SCP-3232-1, and has exhibited self-preservation behaviors. It has made attempts to use varying species of ants and locusts to gnaw away at its containment cell, and has even on occasions produced bullet ants to attack researchers while being studied. Containment procedures have been updated accordingly. Any new behaviors are to be reported to the current project supervisor. The object has also demonstrated its ability to adapt to different environments. If buried underground, various species of ants will manifest to create a small cave system. If submerged underwater, the surface will become populated with aquatic arthropods, including species of Notonectidae, diving bell spiders, and small species of crab. Event 3232-A Another pillow was introduced to SCP-3232's containment cell. After approximately 24 seconds of exposure, a single insect, a cockroach specifically, left the swarm, tore a hole in the side of the pillow casing, and entered the inside. It remained in the pillow for four hours, until the pillow seams began to tear open, leaving small gaps for a new swarm, now designated SCP-3232-1-B, to emerge and populate the surface of the pillow. Studies have shown that the new pillow, now designated SCP-3232-B, now possesses the same anomalous properties as the original. Due to SCP-3232's reproductive nature, it is currently unknown how many instances of SCP-3232 are active outside the Foundation. Addendum 02 Both SCP-3232-1 and SCP-3232-1-B appear to have formed some sort of community. Members of each swarm will leave their own pillow and enter the other. 
Studies as for the purpose of this behavior are inconclusive, as they do not appear to be exchanging goods or services of any kind.